do apologise. I've not made a video in the last two weeks. I'm pretty darn rusty. My throat's a little bit hoarse. But let's take a look at the free and simple NURBS modelling tool called Plasticity. Yes, got that one right, got it right. <laughs> let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. I do apologise for no music. I hope it doesn't feel too strange. Still can't find the file. But let's concentrate on the content ahead. And like I said, it is a free and simple NURBS modelling tool called Plasticity. Oh my god, that's so hard. It's available on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Now you're probably saying to yourself, I've got Blender, it's got NURBS, why do I need this? Well, first thing is, you should always support third party developers, especially when they're starting off creating software. And this actually shows a lot of potential. Now, a lot of people might use programs like Moment of Inspiration or Moya. It's a pretty good program, it's pretty fully fledged, but this is available for free. So, hey, we might as well take a look at it. So, let's quickly open up the application. Now, obviously, the developer must be, it must be a Blender user. Most of the key commands are pretty much the same, so like one's points, two's edges, three's faces, stuff like this. Grab, move, and rotate are all the same, even duplicates the same. And the interface, it kind of reminds you a little bit of Blender. You've got the kind of render options up here, you have the face and select options here, and the toolbar is on the right hand side. Now, this is beta, so you've got to keep this in the back of your mind, and I recommend you check out the developer's YouTube channel. He's been releasing kind of workflows and teasers how this actually works. This isn't going to be a full blown tutorial because, well, I'm still learning it, but I'll give you a kind of brief overview to be honest. Now, if you're not familiar with NURBS, it's a great way to be very accurate. You can add in things like dimensions of lines, stuff like this. A lot of CAD people use it to do industrial work. But, like I said, it's beta. You can export out in STL, I believe, and OBJ format, so you can always take this into Blender. So, on the right hand side, we have lines, we have curves, we have circles, we have kind of polygon tools. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly draw a sphere and I'll show you how it works. Quickly drop it. And you'll notice down the bottom here we have a few options. We can actually do things like a radial array. We can do a rectangular array. Pretty cool. So I'm going to drop down a line tool. I'm just going to quickly draw out a quick line. So something like this. Now check this out. When I join it together, you'll notice that there's these kind of dots. And what this will actually do is it'll kind of fill at the end like so. What I can then do is I can select the face and I can extrude it out, like so. Now one thing you always really need to do is you need to commit, so you need to either hit enter or OK. And I'm just going to quickly move this into somewhere like so. Now the great thing about this is it actually keeps the base shape, so you can see here that we have a curve. So I can turn this on and off or we could delete it. I'm going to select this object and I'm actually going to do something like a radial array. So I'll select radial array. Now what it's asking here is, Select the center point. So where would you actually like to make the array come from? And it's so much easier than Blender. I'm going to hit face. I'm actually going to put the number down just a little bit, like so. Not bad. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll hit OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sphere. And I'm going to hold on Shift and we'll select these objects. And I'm going to go to the bool operator. Now this is Q on a keyboard. And as you can see, it does a boolean cut. Now we can have a union, a difference, an intersect, whatever we want. We can even move it on the fly, I believe, like so. Pretty cool. And that's one of the advantages of using a NURBS program. When it comes to filleting and doing edges and basically booleans, it's just so much cleaner. So once you're happy with your boolean, you can hit OK. And we get this kind of strange shape. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to edge select and I'm going to select this edge. And I'm going to select this edge. Because we're on edges, it automatically selects the tool. So we can do a chamfer or a fillet. So we'll press C to do a chamfer. And then check this out. Let's hit OK. Now that really is a basic introduction to the application. Just showing you the interface, just kind of giving you a basic idea of what it can do for you. Please support the developer. I can actually see that's been pretty damn good over the next year or so. Definitely worth checking it out. There's nothing to lose. It is free, so hey. It's up to you. Anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.